Business Brain, episode 485 for Wednesday, September 20th, 2023. Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we take an idea or two We dissect it, we analyze it in order to tune our business brains together to give us each a greater chance of living that charmed life. Sponsors for this episode include fastgrowingtrees.com slash business brain, where you can go to save 15% off your entire order through October 15th. We'll talk more in depth about how I've been using this and how great it is in a little bit. For now, here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And I'm out here in sunny California still. This is Shannon Jean. Hey, man. How's yeah. it going? Uh, it's sunny today. It, it was, we got some rain uh, the other day. Nice. We, well, there was that hurricane that like was oh, way out yeah, to sea, right, but we right. just got a pile of rain. So it's like, that's yeah, it's fine. Bit. Yeah, you know, it's all good. That's cool. That's yeah. good. I've been up in the mountains a lot uh, working on a new project, preparing a new uh, vacation rental uh, in the rural area of the Sierras. And so I've been away from some, we've been getting some, a little bit of rain and uh, heat lightning, they call it up there. Yep. Uh, it's kind of interesting, but I also got, I, I was going to chat with you. I also set up uh, the Starlink uh, internet access for the first time, which was kind of an interesting experience. All right. So yeah, t- 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 tell me about this. Yeah. So this is it, low, low earth orbit satellites, right? Correct. Uh, yep. Cause we've had, we've had satellite internet for uh, a long time. I, it like, was terrible. And it was I've terrible. Had that too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> awful, yeah, awful. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, like you could use it, but maybe to like yeah. download something, but it would never yeah. have worked for a Zoom call or or really much of anything. You know, you'd have these two second delays, you know, between oh, yeah, when you requested something when it started coming yeah. in. Yeah. But with these but being Starlink, low Earth orbit, it, it actually yeah. makes a big difference. Yeah. It does. So I, I get this thing. I hook it. I find it. Of course, I have to find a deal, right? Because I know yeah, well, that's how it pay, works. Yeah. No way I'm going to pay retail. Right, right. Because I, I called. They, they have uh, a service provider up there that uses phone lines that'll connect you. Yeah. And there is a phone line to this place. Uh, and so, but it was uh, kind of old technology, you know, a buy a binded modem with some kind of DSL weird thing. Oh yeah. Where where you're using the satellite in like the down direction and then some sort of copper wire DSL, whatever for the up upstream. Yeah. 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 And so the, the throughput was really low and it, it was, uh, I I guess there's some law where the, if you buy the internet access in this rural area, they all, well, maybe it's not law, but they, they force you to, uh, also get, uh, landline phone service so the the cost of those two things was uh about 120 bucks a month and Woo. and coincident yeah coincidentally starlink the standard plan is about a, is 120 bucks a month mm. uh, so it's almost know, you, like they know it's almost yeah no contract which is great um you know if you buy the the dish the second generation one uh it's like 599 retail i found a, a sealed unit uh for for 450 on ebay okay uh with free shipping so save some money there and uh i got it i set it up up there i just kind of set it up on the deck for I was a while say, and- did you have to like like how difficult was it to aim the satellite and all that, that or aim so the it, dish it, it, yeah, it aims by itself. You Great. plug it in, and it goes zing, zing, zing. Moves around, left, right, up, down. Oh, it's got its own like the motors in it and, and everything. Yeah, it's, oh. got its, it's got its own motors. Pretty cool. Yeah. But in the beginning, you know, I I could not get the the connection between the modem and the dish was had some kind of problem. So I kept m- messing with it, plugging it in, trying different things, trying different things, and believe it or not, I I was so frustrated that I walked over to it and I gave it a little gentle. I, I wanted to kick it, but I gave it a, sure. a couple of taps, just a tap, tap, kind of like maybe you did on an old TV. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That wasn't getting a signal. Yeah. And and believe it or not, it instantly started working. Oh, that's not so and, good. That's yeah, not, I know. Like that, 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 but it worked that great the whole concerns. time after that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, sure. yes, yeah. After that, it worked perfect. It's it's very fast, but the, the issue is that uh, you need to find the least obstructed view of the sky as possible. Of course. Uh, and everything yes. I've researched, it seems like anything over 5% uh, obstruction is problematic. And 
you know, we're up in this place and there's trees, yeah. big, tall cedars, pines, spruce. It, it's very heavily obstructed. But I got up on the roof of this this uh, house and I was able to finagle it around and and uh, built a temporary wooden uh uh, mount just so I could kind of move it. Yeah. And, but the best I was able to get was about 7% uh, obstruction. So 93% view of the sky. And Starlink says, you should probably find another place. But I, I oh. really, that was the best I could find. Some, wow. But I had it. Yeah. Some of them were like 12%. Some of them were nine, but I kept walking around and, and moving it up and down. Is a and so it, like roof. its app will tell you what, yeah. what you're thinking. Okay. So yeah, you, you're you, the, the app is amazing. You, you hit, you know, scan and you just hold your phone up and move it around and it vibrates yeah. as it's scanning the sky. And it's, it's, I mean, anybody can do it. It's very, you know, easy, but that being said at 7%, it's, it's very fast. Um, you know, the download speeds are great. Like what, what, uh, what, it, what, what is great? Like what kind of download for, speeds are you getting? I was getting like, uh, 90 to 150 megabits per second. No problem. And, and that's down. How about up? Do you, do you remember? Uh, yeah, I, I think up was about 20 years. Okay. Like that. So yeah. like that's. Yeah. That's like a, bad. a slow speed cable modem connection. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You, you know, but yep. like, that's fine. I, that, that's right. You, you okay. can do, you can do zoom calls. You can do Netflix. Yeah. Like, I, I, you know, a, um, a good metric to keep in mind is that Netflix 4k. So the most okay. that you could have to stream from Netflix requires about 25 megabits per second down. So you're getting okay. 90 to 150. Yeah. Like that, so you could stream a 4K movie. Um, yeah, we were streaming. It was great. Yeah. I, I at the seven percent obstruction, a little over seven percent. The Starlink app tells me you can expect an interruption every five minutes. Oh, but it's millisecond interruptions, oh, right? Where oh. so when you're streaming, it's buffering, right? So of when course, yeah, obstructions are good. But I, I noticed it more when I was watching like. Uh, I, you know, I watched the 49er game and it, I don't think it was every five minutes, but once in a while, it, you know, you'd get the, a little delay. And I found that we were behind by, by halftime, we were probably behind 30 to 45 seconds. That we That's going to happen days. even at your house though. Like okay. you probably yeah, aren't yeah, paying yeah. as close attention. At, uh, and I, I, I mean, I realize this is also your house. That's going to happen yeah. on, on a, like a wired connection. Yeah, even the like the the I'm assuming you're using something like YouTube TV or Fubo TV yeah, or something. YouTube TV. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So that also like buffers just like Netflix does. Now it can't buffer as much because they don't see into the future. They can't have, yes. you know, the next quarter of the football game to send you, right? But um it, they do sort of buffer it on their end and and send it to you so that they can sort of preserve that viewing experience. Yeah. So yeah, that kind of thing happens. I've had two TVs in the house quote unquote live Different. on the same yeah, service yeah. and they're not in sync, it, you know, by any stretch. Whereas if you were going over the air, they would absolutely be in sync. Right. Yeah. So, so yeah. When, when I, next week, I'm, when I go back up, I'm going to, I got a, a, a mount that's built for the a roof. I got that yeah. and ordered it and they shipped it and I'm going to move it up higher and see if I can get below that 5% threshold. But you know, uh, it works great. I mean, I saved two hundred bucks by buying it on eBay. It was still yeah. sealed in the box because Starlink charges you uh, fifty bucks for shipping. Uh, it's heavy and it's a big box. Um, so definitely look for deals. Make sure you get the at least the second generation. Uh, and they have a pro version that has, I guess, you get more priority access. It's the same dish. But okay. You pay more per month. Got it. And they have a mo mobile version, which I guess has some other bells and whistles. Yeah. I thought it was great. I, did you do a, did you do a Zoom call or anything on it? Because that would be really the thing to test so your outages. I had, yeah, I had some issues making a standard phone call. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. I used FaceTime audio and it worked great. Uh -huh. um, I also had better luck when someone was calling me versus me calling out. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, yeah, I, no, be I believe yeah. you. Non-technical. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It, it could have been anecdotal or, sure. you know, whatever. But, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to it, see what happens when you decide that we're going to use this to record a podcast. And we'll, yeah, we'll we're going to have out. it because we're going to do it. And and I thought the I, I sent you a picture. You weren't impressed with the range, but I was. I mean, this is a five acre property and line of sight. I mean, yeah. man, I am a few thousand feet away from the house, down a hill on the river. And I had 
excellent coverage, and I was very impressed. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think why, it's a good Wi-Fi go if you line of it. sight is pretty good. Like it, you know, if, yeah. And this yeah. is up high. I have it at the the modem at the highest, the router yeah. at the highest point of the house, and it's flowing downhill apparently, and uh, it's, it works. It works terrific. That's I, good. I, I That's recommend good. it. That's good. Yeah, yeah I'm looking awesome. at your latency here. Like the the latency figures run between like 20 milliseconds and uh, like spiking to 130, but mostly between like 20 and 40 milliseconds, which is I, like, that's fine. That's going to, yeah. that's going to, that, uh, that dog will hunt. Now we'll have to see. Yeah. When I start renting the place out, like I'm very mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, no big deal, but we'll have to see the comments that our guests uh, make when there's like five people on it, all trying to watch something different and, uh, or, you know, use the internet. So we'll see how it goes. All right, look, folks, fall is planting season. It's true, actually. Many plants do better when planted this time of year. But you have to know where to start. And this is why I love our sponsor, Fast Growing Trees at fastgrowingtrees.com slash businessbrain. Fast Growing Trees is something that we have been using here at home, and it makes things so easy. The experts at Fast Growing Trees curate thousands of plants so you can find the perfect fit for your specific climate, your location, and your needs. It's great because you don't have to drive around to nurseries and big gardening centers. Fast Growing Trees makes it easy to order online, and your plants are shipped to your door in like one to two days. We ordered a couple of trees from them, and we planted them, and one of them we weren't so sure about. And so, you know, we just reached out, and their experts were like right there for us. They're like, nope, you're doing everything right. And sure enough, we did that. We did the things that they said, and it is thriving. Plus, they have their 30 day alive and thrive guarantee, right? So that you really can trust this. Because you're a listener to our show, you get 15% off your entire order when you go to fastgrowingtrees.com slash business brain, but only through October 15th. So that's 15% off at fastgrowingtrees.com slash business brain fastgrowingtrees.com slash business brain and our thanks to fast growing trees for sponsoring this episode. So Shannon, you sent me a link on whatever x.com Twitter it still redirects the X the platform. Yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> um, it, that uh, about uh, that really kind of asked the question, are you better off starting a business or buying an existing business? And, yeah, and they talk that's about this, a big, yeah. yeah, they talk about this silver tsunami, right? Which is, you know, small businesses with aging ownership. I, I just, and it sucks. I had a guy that we've been doing a bunch of renovation here tomorrow. The demolition on our kitchen starts oh, and that'll be exciting, which is great. It's the last yes. of the three. We did two bathrooms and now the, the kitchen, we're going to be, it's going to be great. We had a dumpster for the whole thing last week. The, guy who's 80 who runs the dumpster company calls us and says i'm sorry i have to come pick up my dumpster on sunday because uh i can't find any drivers i need to like have surgery that's going to lay me out for like three months so i can't do it and i can't find somebody to sell to buy the business from me and he's like so i'm going to auction the stuff off but i've got to come and i got to come and get it and we're like can you give us just like another week and he's like, no, sorry. Gotta he's like, you want to buy the business? Yeah. I'm like, well, no, right. I like, I think you're not offering enough for drivers and you're asking too much for the business because if you're having trouble on both sides, that's probably what that is. But well, think about that. But uh, that's an interesting thing. Yeah. 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 It, so that's a big topic of discussion on, on X within the business, small, you know, medium sized business space is buying these older, uh, businesses and that this guy's been around for a long time and bringing new technology, new techniques to these businesses to, you know, see this big increase in, in productivity and yield. I mean, you know, somebody who's still doing uh, handwritten quotes, if they do anything in writing, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and there's, uh, you know, one of the common things you hear this silver tsunami, seven to $10 trillion worth of U S small businesses have owners Aging ownership. I don't know exactly what age that is. Um, but a lot of these businesses don't have anybody to buy. So I thought it'd be good to talk about, you know, if if you're considering getting in and starting a business, is it should you buy someone that's already in business or 
start on your own and what are the pros and cons for that? I think it, it's uh, be worth exploring. I, it's yeah, it's an interesting paradigm. There, there's the, from my standpoint, right. I've always found it uh, that I have an easier time starting a business from scratch than I do making the leap to invest and buy an existing business, right? Because you're you're gonna okay. commit capital uh, it, yes. in one way, shape, or another, right? Like, you're, is you're, that a confidence? You're you're uh, confident yes, it's in a your confidence. own skills. Well, but, yeah. but it's I have less to my belief, and I'm probably wrong, is that I have less to lose when I start it myself, right? Because if I buy somebody else's business and it fails, I've invested all that capital up front. And, and I ran it into the ground. Right. Y you know? Yeah. And, and yeah, I, I so I, yeah, I think it's a tough question. It is. And it depends yeah. on the person. I'm not saying uh, that I'm right. Even about yeah, me, I don't, yeah. I'm not saying I'm right. It's just how I've always felt about it, but yeah. Yeah. And I think if, if, if someone's young and they have a business degree maybe or an MBA and they're looking at buying, well, I could buy that dumpster business and that's a passive yeah. income and you know, they're, they're in for a shock, uh, about the amount of time and effort. And like, you know, one of the, I think the big things people pitch to buy businesses, like, well, you're going to accelerate instantly. You're going to be in business, right? Yes. You're not going to have all the slow trials and tribulations, a couple of years getting things off the ground. Yeah. Um, in theory, you've got cash flow already happening, yeah. right? You, you know, yeah. I mean, yes, you, you've got your initial investment to sort of pay down, but theoretically, you know, on day one, you're cash flow positive. If yeah, you're in if, business, if the yeah. prior business was cash flow positive, right? So yeah, and yeah, and and you're buying also someone's reputation, right, and in credibility. Theory. Yeah, in theory, and that could be valuable. But I also had that in my cons column because you could be buying someone's bad reputation, and <laughs> well, or you, you could be to, buying the reputation. You could think you're buying someone's reputation, but when you go and approach the now your customers, they're not happy that it's you. They liked Bob yeah. when Bob, Bob the ran the dumpster business. guy, right? Yes. Ex yes, you know what I mean. And it's like, oh, yeah. well, I trusted Bob. I, you know, I, I, Bob and I got but drunk together forty happens. years ago. Yeah, you, but you know what I mean, like that kind but of. But even thing. when you build a business, that happens, yes. right? Yes, because it, we've had it. We've discussed it on the show, especially as IT people. There comes a time when you're, if you're growing an IT or a tech business and you're doing a lot of the customer facing yes. uh, interactions, there comes a time when you have to, uh, well, you hopefully step out of that role and start to manage the business. And there will be some customers you will lose because they want to talk to Dave. Right? That's right. Or to Shannon. That's right. And uh, that's a big step. So I, I think that one you probably face either way, maybe more uh, in depth well, when, you, and when you buy it. Hopefully, business. the, the, person from whom you're buying the business has already started to do that, right? Hopefully. Like, hopefully. You think Bob, Bob the dumpster dude is out there no. <laughs> hiring a, yeah. No, that's it's funny the problem. You that yeah. Yeah, yeah. That dumpster businesses are actually a, a topic of discussion. Um, oh, I, I, uh, yeah. Now. When yeah. he told me about this, when he dropped the dumpster off, you know, two months ago, I looked at it and I, he was asking a lot, largely because a, a huge chunk of this business is cash. And so it doesn't uh, yeah. it may or yes. may not appear on the, um, on the tax returns oh, and, yeah. and hard to justify. And that. so he's like, well, you know, I need to charge you more because of this cash portion. I'm like, well, if you can't prove it, yeah, I can't exactly. pay for it. Like, I, you know, I, un I believe you, but you know, yes. like, well, and that brings up a good point. I, I would, if you are going to buy a business, I certainly would never, recommend you buy one without some sort of seller financing oh. and n not just because it helps you conserve your cash, which you are going to need to, you know, even though this business is up and running, you're going to need cash. You're of course. Oh yeah. But it also, uh, you, you get, uh, this vote of confidence from the seller. They're, they're, they're buy-in that, okay. I believe in the business so much that I'm going to finance it over some term, three years, five years. Uh, you, you know, you perhaps you want the longest term you can with options to accelerate, uh, yeah. you know, with, with no penalties. Um, and you want to try to, um, like I said, conserve your own cash. So you want to put the smallest amount down. If you're getting an SBA loan, there are some requirements 
uh, how much you need to put in, but there's some new, uh, some recent changes just this year, I believe, that the SBA uh, has kind of loosened the way mm. they count the seller financing. So I think the SBA may be more of an option for you. Um, and, you know, I, I think to me, one of the biggest cons about buying the business is you don't know what you don't know. And, you know, when you're being pitched the business and you're doing your due diligence, yes, you're going to get some paperwork and maybe the more, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Established business or maybe, uh, technically savvy business owners, you're, you're going to get lots of good data, right? Oh yeah. I can just click a button and spit this out for you. But a, an older business, whether it's like a, an HVAC business, if, let's say a service business, a dumpster yeah. business or yeah. whatever, I would, I would bet that, uh, you know, the dumpster dude was ha would have a hard time putting his hands on a lot of the due diligence paperwork you would like to see. So oh, there is set, yeah, right? yeah, I mean, you're, yeah, you're, and even the business that has all of that stuff, like the 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 less savvy business, right, that doesn't have that paperwork. There's going to be things that they don't tell you unless you ask them. Uh, of course, yes. I mean that's gonna go, that's gonna happen with any business. But they're probably we did a whole show on that. Yeah, right? but they're probably not gonna actively hide these things from you. Whereas the more savvy business owner is gonna give you all mm. this wonderfully polished paperwork. But it's like well, let's let's move that out of the way. What what's the unpolished stuff in here? D yeah, dig in, yeah. right? Y you know, because they are now in the business of not running their business, but of selling a business. Right. And so yeah. it's a, it's a very different thing. You know, you're going to put it in its best light. It's not, it, I don't want to, some business owners, business sellers might lie to you. I, I think most of them probably won't because, no, no, I, I would but, agree. But yeah. they're going to give you the highlight reel. Like it highlights it, yes. for sure. It's you're going to, you know, it's, they're not going to tell you, well, you know, it's a really tough business. It kind of sucks. <laughs> you know, yeah. that's and, not a good sales I, I, pitch. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I think like, I can tell you from my experience selling businesses, I've had to do, uh, you know, seller financing when maybe the numbers didn't look that great and yep. this person couldn't get financing. And you're like, well, here's why I want to sell it. I'm not as motivated with the business anymore. Yes. Revenue has gone down because I've shifted my attention elsewhere. So here's what I'll do. You know, you give me, you know, whatever, because as a seller, you want to get as much down of course, uh, as, as possible. So like, you know, I think in, in that, this particular case, you know, I got 50% down and I financed it with interest, uh, over a two or three year period. And that it worked out great. Cause then you're kind of, you know, you're on the hook, they feel better. And, um, you got to just be, you know, sure you're selling it to the right person. That That's probably a whole nother show, you know, uh, selling it probably your is. business. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. it's, it, it's fascinating. All right. So, uh, we're at 23 minutes. I, I have yeah. a question for you. All else being equal, and there's no world where that would actually be the case, but all else being equal, would you uh, today start a business or buy a business that was doing exactly what you wanted to do with the business you were going to start? Which way would you go? Start. Yeah, same. That's it. Yeah, I'm a builder. I, I enjoy it. You know, uh, I don't. I'm not that kind of a hands-off investor yep. thinking I'm going to step in. So, But certainly we'd like to hear from you. Feedback at businessbrain.show. Tell us about your experience buying a business, selling a business, or anything, and get entered to win a MacBook Air. That's right. Yeah, we got, uh, what, another uh, 15 episodes before we yeah. that, pull that drawing. So send it in. Feedback at businessbrain.show. Check out fastgrowingtrees.com slash businessbrain. And uh, keep living that charmed life. We'll see you on Friday. <laughs>